green diet. And again, <clears throat> grains are ubiquitous, they're in everything. And we really have only been eating grains for the last 10,000 years. So before we were colonizing and settling, we were hunter-gathering, we weren't really eating many grains at all. There are numerous problems with grains. Firstly, they're inflammatory. They create an inflammatory response in the body. Inflammation stops us burning fat. They've got high omega-6 omega levels. That's inflammatory. It stops us burning fat. But they've also they've got this brilliant system, whole grains particularly. And here's the irony. Here we are trying to be really healthy. And we have our brown bread and our brown rice and our brown pasta. Well, that brown healthy bit, the fibrous bit that keeps us regular and roughage, there are proteins in that brown bit called lectins. And they are there to stop when an animal eats a grain full of energy to grow a brand new plant, so tons of energy in a, in a grain. An animal or a bird eats, eats that grain, a grain is a seed of a grass, and they can't digest it because that brown bit is so indigestible. And so then the bird flies off and the animal moves off and it poops it out somewhere else and plants the seed and it grows with all that lovely dung around it. It's a genius natural system. And yet we're eating masses of the stuff. And these uh, lectins, these proteins, weirdly bind to the leptin receptors and stop leptin getting through to the brain. So for anybody who is really metabolically stuck, the people that have done the weight loss, weight gain, weight loss, weight gain, who just don't know what to do, they're desperate, I get them off all grains. Not necessarily forever, get the body back to factory setting, it can deal with grains, assuming you're not celiac or whatever else, gluten sensitive. But you've got to get there first, and it's really hard to get there if you're constantly consuming foods that are inflammatory and blocking your leptin message. So grains can be a real problem.